Today we received our new production shrink collets. Initially, if you've seen any other product, they are prototypes. What we received today was quarter, three eighths, half, five eighths and three quarter. And what we've done with this collet is we put two flats on it, one for balance. And the flat also helps us in nuts that have tabs. So when we have a three tab nut like this one, you just line up one of the flats with one of the tabs and it locks in completely. And then you just line up the flat with the tab again. Same thing on, this is a clip style nut. This is our HP nut. And you line up the flat with the tab, it goes in and you just get them lined back up again and rotate them and it comes back out. And this is our standard ear nut with an eccentric. And with this one, you just gotta put it in the eccentric and, and it's in. Now, if you think about this, this is a one-tenth collet. It's a shrink collet. So you have the grip force of shrink. I use the same tolerances on the ID that I use on our shrink holders. But now I have the benefit of the rigidity of our HP chuck. So if I put it in our HP nut here, I have a piloted nut, a thicker chuck. This is bigger than safety area. So it's not gonna work in older or low end machines that have umbrella style tool changers. Vibration dampening is going to be considerably better. We've already tested this chuck with regular ER collets. Now we add the shrink collet into it. And now we have the grip force of a shrink collet, vibration dampening of this chuck. Our projections are, our current projections are, we're seeing 70% improvements in many applications, we're expecting, you know, let's be conservative. If we can reduce spindle loads by 50%, or we can um, increase feed rates by reducing vibration or increasing grip force. Now think of this guy here. So we get this into, we line up our, our flat to our tab and put in this little chuck here. in the spindle bearings, grip forces shrink, but up in the bearings of the machine, you'll be able to take one monstrous cut with this chuck that you wouldn't be able to take normally. Now taking the same collet though, we've already done testing with our prototypes and we've seen spindle loads drop 20%, we've seen spindle loads drop 170%. It all depends on the application. But you take our standard ER chuck here, and this is where we've been running a lot of our tests because it's kind of our lighter duty version, if you, if you look at it that way. But the unlike materials of the collet and the nut, the grip force of the collet, we've seen great improvement over, over the best ER collets in the market going with the shrink collet. Now, ironically, we developed the shrink collet actually for lathe applications because we had customers with live tools that could not tighten the head like they wanted. And they wanted to be able to get the grip force of the right angle head without reefing on the gear head to tighten them down. So we came up with the shrink collets for that reason. Now this is a shrink fixture. This will go in any Cat 40 base that is straight. So um, many competitive machines do use a straight base and it'll work in those machines. There is one company I know of that's using a tapered base. This base will not work in that machine. Um, but it's just a counterbore here to hold it in position. There's a preset screw down in there. So you can adjust the preset screw up to where you want the cutter to come through and hit. Bring it down to it hits the screw, you're done. So that, that's the new shrink collets. Uh, three quarter, five eighths, half, three eighths and quarter inch are in stock. We have um, three sixteenths and eighth inch coming in in this series as well as six, eight, 10, 12, 16 millimeter. I believe 20 millimeter as well. I also have ER20. ER25 and ER40s in production right now. So this is a start, but these are in stock now if you'd like to check them out. 
And one other thing I forgot to mention that I want to mention, since these are one-tenth run out, grip force is great, but they're sealed. So you have a sealed collet. But if you want jet blast, we can pop in two holes and give you jet blast as well. Thank you for watching.